Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we got another review for you, and this one is Blockchain Property Git. Now, let me just hold you there now before you go any further. You might think this is just another cryptocurrency project trying to take advantage of the property and real estate sector. Well, it's completely different. There has been lots of projects, ideas around cryptocurrency and real estate. And honestly, most of them haven't panned out or they have focused on the wrong thing in terms of they've focused on maybe one or two properties. Now, we all know that property is probably the best investment that you could have got involved in in the last 140 years, minus cryptocurrency, of course. So we're going to take a look at property. Yes. We're going to go through the website, we're going to go through the white paper, and at the end of this, I will give you my thoughts and the pros and cons. As I said, property is probably one of the best investments you could have made over the last few years. Um, as I really need to repeat this, mine is cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency has been the best asset you could have been in. But yeah, they're focusing on the shortage of affordable housing. It's a major problem in Europe, particularly in Germany, Austria, and that um, part of the world. It's not great in Scandinavia either. And the UK has to be, um, UK and Ireland actually have to be highly ranked there in terms of the um, barriers to getting on the property ladder. It's a major issue, particularly for young people, but now it is not exclusively for young people. And... Property, um, blockchain property gates are attempting to address that problem. So let's go through the website. As I've said, right, real estate has been the best performing investment for the last 140 years. And yeah, prices have skyrocketed. So these guys are introducing a circular economy model for the real estate sector that utilizes the potential of already existing real estate. So they're not going to be building new projects. They're going to be repurposing old buildings and a property that is cheap to invest in and can be repurposed for affordable housing. Now, they're following a tried and tested methodology for property selection and renovation that allows them to lower the prices of real estate and make investments easily achievable without the banks in the equation. Now, the token is the BPGT security token, and this will yield you a profit share of 30%. Blockchain Property Gate is paving the future of the real estate sector by solving some of the most pressing issues and affordability. And you know what? The lack of construction is uh, crazy too. So this is how it works. They're adopting a unique selection process consisting of 50 different variables, focusing on acquiring whole buildings. The goal is the selection of high quality properties at the lowest cost possible, which will be then rented out and or renovated. Now 75% of the acquired properties are rented out and the remaining 25% are renovated according to their cost-effective modular renovation methodology, which offers a high degree of flexibility and customization. The net profit that is generated then will be reinvested into future property acquisition, company expansion, and building capital reserves. 30% of this will be specifically dedicated towards dividend payouts for BPGT token holders. Now all the phases are here. This is not a short-term project. This is a very long project. Look, at the website is uh, typical. It gives you your goals and your phases. So that's your roadmap. Uh, the token sale, a um, little bit about the tokenomics. And there's your roadmap. Okay, and there's your team down here. Let me just refresh something here. I want you to check something. Okay, so look at, they have a very nice white paper, which I'll put a link to in the description, and that really simplifies this. 
because there is a lot going on here. But this gives you your um, uh, your summary. But in terms of the white paper here is the white paper I've been reading through it. Um, it's very well put together, actually. There's your disclaimers. There's your abstract. Um, here's a very interesting uh, sentence. Affordable housing has indeed become a global issue. Over the last seven years, property prices in Europe have increased by nearly 50% on average. Now, the fact that that says average, there is going to be some areas in Europe where it has gone up far more than that. Very few people today can become homeowners without getting a loan that they need to pay over the course of the next 25 to 30 years. I know people with 40-year mortgages. Even strong, uh, even strong economies like Germany are experiencing a shortage of housing with the government greatly reducing new development projects despite the skyrocketing demand. Look, in Europe has had a massive influx of people as well over the last few years. So, um, yeah, it's beginning to become a perfect storm in terms of housing. Um, homelessness rates are through the roof, and I can say that about countries that I'm familiar with, particularly in the UK, Ireland, Scandinavian countries. I'm assuming Central Europe is the same. Now, scroll down here a little bit further. The, the white paper is highly detailed. We could be sp we could spend the next hour going through this white paper. I'm, I'm trying to get to the the um, the most important stuff here. Where are we? Where are we? Are? The real estate sector and its unprecedented growth. Housing prices have rose by nearly seven or fifty percent over the last seven years, as I've uh, stated. However, and as you can see here. The way property prices have gone through the roof is insane. Estimate share of global plastic waste by disposable metals, house prices, and rents in the EU. And rents have gone through the roof too. And it breaks down the main countries in Europe here. In Estonia, prices even tripled. Now, the baseline there would have been low on that, but it's still telling you like what is happening. Just between 2021 and 2022 in the EU, the rise in residential properties prices was nearly 10%. Now real estate prices have reached levels that even some of the most renowned experts in the industry did not foresee. And you can see here, average cost of housing. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Now, even in Europe, we observe how the rising property prices are taking toll on people's budgets. I would imagine that the vast majority of people's salary nowadays is going towards housing, whether it's rental or paying off massive mortgages. Now, according to the broad definition, housing can be considered affordable if its cost, mortgage or rent, is below the 30% of your disposable household income. This is not seen the case in the EU area, where well, the current rate for people with disposable income of below 60% is standing at nearly 38%. And so there's all different um, examples here of, you know, to reinforce this. You m will see Germany pop up here quite a bit. And I think that is because the team is focused in Germany at the moment, although they're registered in Wyoming in the U.S. But to give you an example of the, the problem, and this is European wide. There is a shortage of 1.9 million affordable apartments in 77 major German cities. This includes around 1.4 million apartments on the 45 square meters for single personal households. Now, Germany's had a massive influx of immigration over the last few years. And so, as I said, these are not going to fucking help the issue. But anyways, let's let's continue on. We're not going to get into the politics of a lot of this, although politics is a significant factor. In just a year, rents across most major European cities surged. A furnished one-bedroom apartment in Berlin cost an average of almost €1,700 in the third quarter of 2022. That's up €1,500 in a year. Okay. Um, look, I think most people are well aware, particularly people in crypto, that you know housing is not cheap anymore. Um, and without the support or the safety net of crypto for a lot of people they would be never getting on the property ladder um i can say from my own point of view 
without crypto, I probably would never have got on it. Or if I did, I'd have been paying a mortgage long after my retirement age, I'm afraid. Okay, so let's scroll on here. Let's get through the white paper a little bit more. In fact, you know what? Um, let me scroll down a bit here. Issues and challenges. This is a lot of issues. I think we're more all well aware of the issues here. Um, skyrocketing prices, less housing units, increased populations. I mean, it's a recipe for disaster, really. And coupled with that, uh, the crazy interest rate hikes over the last few years. Yeah, so let's get to the solution. Let's get to the solution. Blockchain property get creates the first fully fledged solution to the most pressing issues currently in the real estate market by introducing a sustainable business model underpinned by a security token. The goal of the project is to democratize the access to sustainable, affordable housing and profitable real estate investments. Blockchain property get will initially target the German market, as I have been saying. Expanding throughout Europe in the foreseeable future and becoming a decisive factor on the worldwide scene in the long term. And as I said at the beginning, this is a long term plan. 70% of the net property is reinvested into the company for further expansion and that uh, in terms of, you know, building the staff force and acquiring more properties with 30% dedicated to the investor and they're paid out annually. Now, furthermore, beyond the cost factor, they're putting sustainability in the core of the selection criteria for these properties. The concept of which goes beyond just environmental aspects related to how the real estate project was brought to life. They have a three pillar model, which encompasses the dimension of social, ecological and economic issues and considers them to be fundamentally of equal importance. Okay. So look, these are the issues, skyrocketing prices. Let's, do you know what? We'll, we'll wrap this part up at the end. Let's get through some of this because it's, it's, it's a very big white paper. So this is the breakdown of how it works. Blockchain Property Group. Fundraising is done through the BPGT token. Investors acquire BPGT tokens with fiat or crypto. 90% of these funds are invested in property acquisitions at below market prices. Rented out immediately to secure for cash flow or renovated to increase the market value. Now, 70% of the, 75% of these are going to be rented out. 25% are going to be sold. So the profit is going to go back into the system. And 30% goes to investors as profit share rights. Paid out in fiat. Right. And then reinvestment in acquisition for more properties. So as you can see, this cycle is ongoing. Now, the project holds a security token offering, and that's what we're going to get to. The BGPT token. And 65% of the funds, of the funds raised are going towards the acquisition of real estate assets. Let's scroll down here. The average estimations are showing that just with their renovation and methodology, they can save anywhere between 25 and 30% on costs compared to traditional way of developing from scratch. So, yeah, this is your white paper. It's 50 pages plus long. As I said, it's a multi-year project, developmental phases, because without going into massive detail here, the company is looking to get five to 600 housing units in the first year alone. Year one to three, they're looking at 10,000 rental apartments. Um, and then... Four to six, look at they're looking at 30,000 with 5.5 billion assets valuation. And it goes on to six, eight, nine, ten years. I mean, most of it's going to be long gone by 10 years, I would imagine. You know, um, at the end of the day, we're investors and, um, you know, you've got to be moving your money around. So that's the detailed uh, development phases. Here are the short term development phases. I mean, by year eight to 10, they're looking at 100,000 housing units reaching a total market capitalization of around 18.3 billion euro. And the list of project references here below. Okay, the token. 
It's an ERC-1400 standard token. The primary goal of the token is obviously to raise funds so that they can implement their plan. It's Ethereum based, obviously, with ERC on it. Um, they have made about tokenomics here. For initially, they're going to be minting uh, just over 148 million. It's going to go towards the first crowd sale. Now, I'll tell you what, let's go back to the website because the website breaks up this a little bit better here. There we go. So, the private sale starts actually in 12 days' time. And I want to scroll down here. There we are. And so, yeah, they're going to be raising, they, they're, they're trying to raise 100 million euro here. That's the hair cap. And the token sale is going to be 10% cheaper. So the STO price is, let me see now, let me break this down. The private sale is 90 cents. The pre-sale is 95 cents. And the main sale is is one euro these are the sale times the private sale is going to be from the first of april to the end of may and then from the first of june to the end of july you're going to have the pre-sale and the main sale then is going to run from first of august to the 30th of september so as a, as you can see this is a long this is a long year ahead of us here in terms of fundraising just to get the project off the ground so yeah, um, a token distribution, crowd sale is 70%, team is 20%, liquidity is another 10%. I would imagine that it's going to take a while before this thing gets listed anywhere. Funds distribution, 65% going to property acquisition. Real estate company acquisition is 25%. They do, they're in, intending to purchase a, a real estate management company at some stage here. And legal costs, 10%. And so the roadmap is what you guys are going to be very much concerned with because, as I said, multiple occasions, this is a long-term commitment. The official release of the white paper came out last year, July. We're up to start the private sale and next month start the pre-sale in June, August to start the main sale. So September, conclusion of the sale and the listing on exchanges and the initiation of phase one. Q3 to Q4, strategic expansion of the company. Q3 next year is going to be the initiation of phase two. The first yearly dividend payouts are going to be on Q2, Q3 2027. And there's your team listed below. Um, now this, I'm trying to keep this to, how, are, how long are we on this now? We're, we're 20 minutes in, so yes. Um, let me give you my conclusion on this thing. Okay. Let me give you the conclusion here. So, the private sale starts in 12 days. The project is taking a different approach to bringing blockchain technology to the real estate sector. Okay. The main idea is they're going to be buying up properties after the fundraising hopefully the fundraising goes successfully they're looking for 100 million your tokens are going to guarantee you 30 percent payout on profits paid out annually we all know that there's a massive affordability and housing shortage in europe and i would expect this is in most western countries pros and cons right idea i love the idea i love the idea um the 30% payout is, is, you know, it's very enticing. They've brought away the barriers to getting involved in real estate investing. You know, um, buying your token, and that's it. Where I think most people are aware, if you want to get involved in real estate, you're going to need a lot of money. So you might as well just go and buy the property, you know. So now the couple of little things here that pisses me off a little bit. There's no LinkedIn for the team. You know, I, I want to know who's behind these projects. You know, I want I want to be able to read up uh, their history and that. Yes, there's history listed in the um, in the white paper, but uh, it's sketchy. You know, um, you gotta go. You gotta do digging. I mean, I did some digging to find some of these um, places. Um, 
I want to know. I want to see the po I want to see the people behind it, man. What what experience do they have? This is a massive project. I mean, you're you're talking in a few years about billions of dollars. I have been in the real estate sector for over twenty years, right? It is it is difficult, you know. Um, targets to be met, things can go wrong, particularly with purchasing older buildings. A lot of unforeseen stuff can happen. Um, so I'd like more detail in terms of. Who are the people behind it? What exactly is the plan here? Like, um, if the if the money isn't raised, is that it? Or let's say fifty percent is raised. But yeah, look, that's uh, blockchain property gate. All the links are in the description. Go check them out. I, I think it's very well presented. The website's beautiful. The white papers, you know, there's a lot of work on it. You can clearly see that. I would just like a bit more in terms of who the people are. And how do they actually plan to inquire these? You know what I mean? Uh, they are registered with the SEC. There is a filing um, registered with the SEC. That's bad because it's it's a security token. But um, as you can scroll down here, um, there's the SEC filing. Why by one page? There are different connections in terms of their social media. So, yeah, look, guys. Um, now, I will say, I will say one thing. I do do know one of these advisors. I've worked with him in the past quite a lot and I can tell you he's rock solid. So, yeah, this might be just, this might be just that they haven't uh, bothered to put them up. Um, unforeseen. Uh, it's just uh, one of these things that happens. But yeah, that's, is, what are we in there? We're 23 minutes in. Yeah, I'm going to have to wrap this up. Um, who watches me three minute videos now it is. Um, yeah, that's blockchain property get guys. Stick it on your radar. All the links in the description. Go check them out. Let me know in the comments box what you think. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked today's video, hit the like button. If you didn't, fuck it, go ahead and hit the dislike button. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.